Legal Information on Separation and Separation Agreements Please note that the Legal Information Society of Nova Scotia does not provide legal advice, only legal information. Please consult with a lawyer for more information pertaining to any personal situations. Separation means one or both spouses slash partners decide that the relationship is over. You don't need to get anything in writing when you are separating, but it is good practice. You may wish to get a separation agreement because your rights and obligations are clearly defined in the written agreement. It can help set your separation date for the Canada Pension Plan credit splitting. However, for employment pensions, you may require a court order, not just a separation agreement. Please consult with a lawyer. If you are married and plan on seeking divorce in the future, a separation agreement can make the processes clearer. You do not need your partner's permission to separate. Ending a relationship is a decision that either person can make on their own. Eventually, you and your spouse will need to work out the terms of your separation, such as parenting arrangements, including where your child will live, decision-making responsibility, Parenting time. Child and spousal support. How to divide property and debts. It is important that you consult with a family lawyer when separating. It is also important that you both seek your own lawyers. Trying to negotiate a separation agreement on your own can be risky. You should have legal advice about your rights and responsibilities so you don't miss important issues or agree to something unfair to you or your spouse without realizing it. It is very difficult to change once you agree to the terms of a separation agreement unless both of you support the change. Things that you may need legal advice on include Parenting arrangements If violence is a concern, safety Child and spousal support Dividing property and debts If you are struggling to agree with your former partner, you can apply for a court order to address things like parenting arrangements child support or spousal support. It is also important to think about personal support that you may need. This could include counseling for you and your children to help cope and deal with the breakup, safety planning, or help from a credit counselor slash financial planner. And don't forget, when separating, you should review the terms of your will, power of attorney, personal directive, life and health insurance information, RSPS, TFSS, and other accounts where you may have named a beneficiary or substitute decision maker. For more information, go to legalinfo.org.